Okay, here we go, back again. Sorry for the noise out there. <clears throat> um, Alright, so, you've rested. You wake up, you're feeling a little bit, um... Under the weather. You're feeling a little bit hurt. Oh, He's when sitting on top of this, you know, with his bow. Oh, when they said that'll hurt tomorrow, they weren't kidding. Mm. You took quite a hammering from that fight, friends. No, she was the lack of hammering that was the problem. <laughs> no, that too. We got our asses handed. <laughs> the bard kind of goes, oh, we got our butts handed to us. <sighs> Cast on grunts. Oh. Well then, shall we raid the f room of anything of value? Okay, yeah, shiny things, let's get up. Do you investigate the walls, or...? We investigate everything. We look at that room up from head to toe, trying to see if there's anything there. Um... The shelves appear... Uh, nothing seems to be able to val be of really value. Um... Do you go into the, um, vats again? <laughs> no! Yes? No! That's up to you. No. You checked all of them except one, and there's still, and you've searched the room, and there's, except for that one vat, and there's still no sign of the other half of this cave. Let's go for the vat. You reach in. And nothing happens. Oh, thank God. Do you find the key? You find the other half of it. You do after some searching in there. It's kind of goopy because there's this sick, thick films and stuff. It's just nasty. But you do, in fact, find it. You put them together and they magically seal back up. Alright, what's this key to? I don't know. You have the most light. Hold it on you. We'll need it in our future endeavors. Okay, is there any way out of this room besides the way we came in? That is while you were certain were you searching the shelves. Yes. You'll notice that the shelves are kind of can fall over, are not in, mounted to the wall. You can knock them over if with some effort. I pull them down, Tastron. Um roll me a strength check. Alright. This one. And I brace myself. So, You're getting ready to step back in case, um... Yeah, in case death comes out. Or it falls over on you. Alright, Tastron. Sylvanus, let me roll good. <laughs> Two! <laughs> and the curse continues! Two! <sighs> okay, let me try again. Yeah, you've got plenty of time. Damn you, Sylvanus. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> um, I love you. I got four. I love you, Sylvanus. You're the best. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. I know what's wrong. The bard isn't playing music to inspire you. Hang on, I can fix this in a moment. I will make many tithes to you if you let me roll correctly. H! Nope. I'm going up a little. It was two and then four, and now it's eight. It's doubling. It's like. Alright, keep going then. Four. Oh, it's going down. If it rolls two, that's just gonna be funny as hell. Three! <laughs> Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Eight! The mountain. Eight. Yo, think that I should have rolled a high number by mistake by now. Seven. Eight. Seventeen! Plus, <laughs> what's your strength? Five. Okay, so, yeah. You pull away the shelf. You know, jars break when it falls off. Nothing happens. They're, it smells nicer now, though, because there's perfume in those some of those jars. So it smells... Well, it smells good, but it smells bad because it's a bunch of different perfumes, but they're all going off at once. You know, it's like going to like Macy's and everyone's spraying the perfume everywhere. Mm. It doesn't. It smells good, but it doesn't smell good. Mm. 
Now, you find the secret door. So, hang on. We need to play it again. Alright. I go over to this one. Oh, defies their people. And uh, something, something, something in the path. 20! I rip it off its hinges, throw it to the other side of the room as it breaks against the wall. And there's nothing in behind it. But there is a, se a secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. In the tomb. In the. Dear God, I can't make, make it up as I go along. I have that one! Alright, I open. I open the door. No, you don't. Okay. I don't. Not yet until I figure out what the heck, what on earth is um, behind it. Oops, too much music. Hang on a minute, I know I have a um, sheet, so we'll take a break and be right back. Alright, so, when we last left our heroes, they found a secret tunnel in the wall, and um, we, they were about to go into it. So, who's going first? Mage shield. Well, actually, taking, there's enough room to go side by side, so... The ranger that's practically a rogue, and the meat shield will enter. Aaron, how far do you go in the tunnel before, um... Here. That way the others can follow behind. Alright, when we enter there... <coughs> Um, there's a pit ahead. Do you approach it? Yes. Go all the way up then. This long pit is far too long to merely jump over. This long pit, this long pit, far too long to merely jump over, is only ten feet deep. Short spikes about a foot long extend a foot high from the bottom in tight, dense rows, one every foot or so. You're easily going to be it. You can easily avoid it walking through it. Like how if I simply overstepping it. All right. Perception checks. <laughs> Duh. Tomb of Horrors, pit full of spikes, could walk across it, and that's the first thing that pops in your mind. Rule number one in, in Tomb of Horrors, right after your rule number one, this is like a sub of your rule, rule number one. If you think it's going to be easy, perception check it, because it's probably not. Damn right. So, Faradil. Faradil rolls a 26 on his perception. What does he notice? Uh, well, first here roll. Three. What's his perception? 17. So you get 20. Yeah, you both notice, because you're in the front. I'm only giving it to you and Faradil. Um... The spikes appear to have gaps between the blades and the floor. Yeah, I actually thought about that one. So somewhere along this, you don't know where, there's a trigger. I have a plan. Do you have sense traps? Trap sense? Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know he has something like this. Oh yeah. I think he has drop sense. It's in it's um a skill power though. So I'm gonna need player handbook three. Mm. Heal. Dungeoneering. And that was a small what I consider a small version Trap sense. Oh, it's only for um, defenses. It was like four or five times the width of the bird fight. I mean, thing is. So let's just keep going and see what. Keep making a perception check. Perhaps we'll be able to find the. Um... Every step you take, make a perception check. Yeah. Ready? Alright, so. Who is it? Should we go in? Let's go. Actually, wait, no. Baradil, go in. You are the most dexy. Alright, and he'll carefully, oops, he'll carefully knock over your mini, and he'll proceed forward every square or so, making a perception check. 
One. You don't know shit. Next one. Nothing so far. Nothing yet. He doesn't seem to see anything. Nope. And... No. Oh, actually... That's a... That's a 23. And he points down, and there he's signaling to you that the trigger plate for this trap is, like, right there. Like, Jump over. I think I can disable it. Try. Let's make it three to recheck. Oh, dear God. What's the DC for this? Oh, goody. Boy. Nope. That, that, that was a, that, um, dro you just dropped it. That didn't roll at all. No, it's a four. He's unable to thievery a fight. So just jump over it. Okay, it's going to be an athletics check. So jump over it. Acrobatics? No, athletics. Because you're jumping, like, to avoid making enough cock. Four. Your four is my two. You stumble, trip, fall over the trap. No, it's more like. Well, they were always like this. Um, I step. So I thought it was back where they tail the trap. On the trap. Until I saw it take off and go back. So, because otherwise. And? Obviously, I figured I had to take it out. And that in the grass, they would be. Oh, you were next to the pit, right? Mm -hmm. So when they land on the grass, they literally. Did any of the other characters move up? No. <coughs> you and I are going to get hit. Why am I getting hit? I'm outside of the pit. Targets. Uh, target creatures in or adjacent to the pit. Damn, what's what's happening? Plus 13 versus AC. <laughs> so for that, that's um 29. My AC? Yeah. No. Please roll low. I don't want to get hit. And that's a 17. But however, unfortunately, we take half damage. Give me a D8, please. How many D8s are using? Don't ask. That's 10, that's 15, divided by 2, so that's um, about 7 points of damage to each of us. Oh, and we're at full hit points because we... Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Videotaping. <laughs> Alright, so... Can you take 7 points yet? Yeah. Okay, I need to just take my seven, and we'll be... I'm at 101 hit points! Woo! Alright, so... 66 hit points he's at. Um... Yeah, tops out of the pit. Um, it... Sink, it sinks down again. Want me to try it again? Yeah. You have to try and jump over it again. He jumps. Don't be that baby. That's a 23. He disables the trap. He successfully disables the trap. It's safe. You can come back. You can come over. We follow your path exactly, so we're all behind you. He hops on this, nothing happens. And we, and we all get out of the pit. And we all climb out. We're over here. So there's nothing seems to be down that hall. Perception. Damn right, you're learning. If it looks like there's nothing that's going to happen, there's something that's going to happen. This one is Thor Baradil. That is a 24. Quinn. Why do you insist on hitting my Minotaur? I don't know. It's just your Minotaur is such a big target. And that's a 26. I see all! That's only if you roll a natural 20. But it's 19, so I see almost all. <laughs>